Hello everyone, welcome to Young Fang's virtual showroom and thank you for joining us today at this very special, highly exclusive virtual unveiling of the all new Smart Cabin Demonstrator XIM21. For those of you who don't know, XIM stands for Experience in Motion. So last year we presented the predecessor of the car that we're going to see in a minute. It was called XIM20 and uh, we had a great show. At that point we could still invite our customers to come and see us and uh, we got a lot of feedback. So XIM20 was more visionary. It was more a long-term statement of where Yan Feng thinks the future of interior will go. So we got great feedback from our customers but they also said which technologies can we already put in our next generation vehicles? Cars that will be on the road in two year, years from now. Okay, Han, show us the car. Hanna, here it is. Well, that's a cool trick about virtual reality. Did you hide anything else here? No, it's all about the car today. All right. Let's start the car. Ah, uh, more lights. What's happening? So what's happening is, you remember that I have entered my pre-settings in the app. So mm -hmm. the car knows now exactly who is behind the wheel because of the facial recognition in the dashboard. So it continues adapting the vehicle interior exactly how I want it to be. And what it also does is it adjusts the safety equipment, the safety systems in the vehicle. Uh, in the app, I had to set my body weight and length and it optimizes the safety systems for my body, so it actually makes the car safer for me. Where do we want to go? Oh, uh, how about a restaurant? Okay, that's fine. You choose the restaurant. I'm driving already, so you can do the navigation. Oh, that sounds good. <gasps> Let's go to ah, restaurants. We have a special tab for that. Sharing navigation. Exactly. So I need it where I'm looking, right? I want to keep my eyes on the road. No. Let's say I would like to move my chairs. I don't see any buttons, so how do I do that? Right. What we did is we actually seamlessly integrated these buttons with our surfaces. An example is on your seat um, in the armrest. If you want to adjust your seat, press the on button for a second and the menu appears. Here you oh, go. Oh, that's so pretty. Right. Okay, so I can go to Forward, the front. Yeah. Did you hide any more buttons from me? Yeah, we actually have these smart switches throughout the interior on both soft surfaces and hard surfaces. And I see buttons in the steering wheel as well. Right, it's a smart steering wheel as we call it. So it has these smart functions, but also hands-on, hand-off detection. Yeah. And there is a warning sign because I, if I take my hands off the wheel, after a few seconds, it oh. warns me that I have to put my hands back on the wheel, the safety systems react, and, um, and now we're back into a normal. So let's say we have the children in the back, right. in the perfect chair. How do we entertain them? Yeah, so especially long rides. My children love to watch a, mu a movie or play a game, something like that. So you want to control the content a little bit. Yeah, you want them to watch appropriate stuff. The good thing about our system here is that, by the way, the, the, the car has five screens. Two in the front for the driver, you have one, and two in the back. So can, they can actually watch their movies. And we can go to the movie menu, pick the movie, ah. and what we can do now is uh, you can actually select which screen can watch what content. Are you okay in the back? I'm totally fine. I feel like relaxing. Very good. So this is our zero gravity seat. And what you might want to do is go into this relax position. You have to push the button below the exactly that one. And then you can let go. Everything happens automatically. The rear seat moves out of the way. Ooh. And the seat goes into a very relaxing position. So you have the massage. You have a very relaxing position. So we want to create a very nice ambiance as well. Um, turn on a little music. Nice! Adjust the uh, fragrance of your preference and, uh, and we can also make the light pulse with the music to, to really get you into a full state of relaxation. So imagine we're two colleagues, we're almost um, at our meeting where we have to be and we need to do some final preparations to our presentations. This is the setting that we would create in the interior. This is enough space even for my big feet. So you can even create a more effective workspace for us. If you bring over this uh, smart companion, our, our floor console, and turn on the uh, smart surface and the armrest, yes, and here it comes. 
Well, hello. So it's, this is really a multifunctional floor console. Lots of features, lots of functions. Storage is very important in the back. There are cool drinks, hot drinks. I can charge my phone if I want to. Color changes when it starts uh, charging. And uh, you even have a table function. So just push the small switch. And Over here? Yes. And mm. the table pops out. Well, this thing is full of surprises. Sorry. Again? you have to do is this. I think I got a good impression. Very good. So I say let's go out and wrap it up. But what do you think is the most important innovation? To be honest, I think the most interesting innovation we haven't seen yet. And as you say, there are a lot of innovations in the vehicle. But what now really becomes important to create an intuitive and meaningful in-car experience is the choreography of all the digital and physical features in the in the car so everything has to happen at the right time so for that purpose we've developed our own domain control unit our smart cabin controller and and that really drives all the features and functions in the interior that everything happens at the right time could you say that it's like the central brain of the interior perfect it's the central brain of the interior i hope that the people at home will have gotten a good impression what do you think so I really hope so. And, and again, the people at home are really important for us because for our innovation process, we start with the end user and we work our way back to technology. So we would really appreciate if you can leave your feedback. Yeah, and you can actually leave that feedback just down in the comments here below. And if it's useful feedback, they might actually pick it out and use it for the next model, XIM22. How about that? Great idea. That would be cool. Thank you very much for joining us today and have a good one.